Hi, this is Amar from Kusam Meko and today we will uh, understand uh, Kusam Meko's another product which is uh, a 4 wire earth resistance and resistivity tester model number KM4235ER so uh, basically this comes in a good uh, casing like this uh, it's basically to uh, protect the device from uh, you know damage and things like that so let's unbox this uh, uh, product and see what we can uh, learn more about this so uh, it's very simple to use this product actually so initially it will be uh, uh, something in this manner you can see you have uh, four wire earth resistance and resistivity tester uh, the KM4235ER uh, with this you will be uh, uh, getting uh, the test report for this so as you can easily see uh, it's the model number written over here the serial number written uh, so you have got a test report with this and also uh, uh, a manual an instruction manual will be provided with this device it's very important to read this manual before using so I'll just quickly highlight the uh, features and uh, uh, other uh, uh, you know quick points just let us go through it uh, so basically the very important thing is that this uh, product can be used uh, for category 4 so this is a category 4 device up to 300 volt so that is the first uh, feature and very important thing I would like to highlight okay apart from this it has it, it is it is auto ranging and microprocessor controlled uh, it can also help you to uh, uh, check the earth resistivity over here and uh, you can also check the earth uh, uh, resistivity and earth resistance up to 2000 ohm so up to 2 kilo ohm in addition to this earth voltage measurement can also be done over here earth, vo earth voltage uh, and uh, you have got a large LCD display auto power uh, off function is there data hold and also you can also store 200 measurements 200 up to 200 measurements can be saved in this so these are uh, you know a couple of features uh, which are uh, uh, you know very uh, making this product a very a good one uh, so basically all the details such as the accuracy the measurement ranges and the earth resistance all the uh, factors are written over here okay so uh, you have got different uh, steps given over here to understand how you have to do the uh, connection when you are doing the earth voltage measurement when you're doing a four terminal three terminal two terminal uh, resistance measurement when you want to do earth resistivity measurement so all the connections are uh, explained in the manual in a very simplified manner so let us uh, now move ahead and go towards the product so uh, basically uh, you have got uh, two screws over here okay you will unscrew this and this panel is removed and you have to uh, fix uh, uh, eight 1.5 volt batteries AA batteries will be fixed over here in this very manner and you have got eight uh, 1.5 volt batteries which will go directly inside so this is our main uh, uh, earth resistance tester uh, with this uh, you can see you will be getting over here the uh, lids so you have got four type of lids that will be available with you so uh, that are available in different color color code for proper recognition so you have got red yellow green and black so you will be getting four uh, 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 leds with this okay and uh, uh, one uh, end of the uh, led will be having this crocodile clip so this is what is uh, very uh, convenient when you want to clip this to the spikes so you get four uh, test leds and you also get four spikes over here so basically you will be getting these uh, uh, four spikes uh, which you will be uh, uh, you know uh, forcing in the ground uh, for the proper measurement last but not least you will get a belt okay which will be uh, fixed this is a strap basically okay which you will fix it at the end of uh, this uh, device uh, so that you can uh, conveniently carry it uh, wherever you want so let us unbox we have unboxed this and let us see what uh, uh, more we can know about this product uh, okay so it's very easy to use over here okay uh, this is how our earth uh, resistance and resistivity uh, tester uh, looks like okay uh, so basically uh, you have got couple of instructions uh, written over here uh, for example how you have to check the earth voltage four terminal three terminal two terminal measurement and also how you have to do the earth resistivity measurement so with a simple on off feature you can simply on this device you have got on off button you have got an escape button uh, you have got two navigation keys and a save button okay and you have got four uh, slots over here for the connection so I'll just switch it on over here so you can see uh, with uh, a simple uh, click uh, the device is switched on and it initially tells you the battery voltage so it's 12.2 volt the battery voltage available to you uh, so uh, you can see the uh, select function here is a 2p which indicates that uh, you uh, have you are about to do a two pole uh, measurement okay you want to change this you can do a three pole measurement you can also do a four pole or four terminal measurement 
you can check the earth voltage acv you can check the earth voltage over here and uh, you can also check the resistivity okay soil resistivity and you can uh, uh, also uh, uh, check what are the readings you have saved in the device so that is what log display is all about and a log clear in case if you want to erase the uh, readings you have taken you can enter the log clear mode and you can erase all the readings so in uh, or total you can uh, save 200 different measurements with this device 200 different measurements can be saved so uh, let us quickly go ahead and i'll explain you uh, uh, briefly how you can do a measurement so in case if you want to do a two terminal measurement okay for a two terminal measurement you have to select this function 2p okay and once you have to make once you make the connection you have to simply press this test button okay and uh, you will be getting a reading over here so in case if i press the uh, test button in such a way now it indicates that there is an error obviously because there is no connection made so this is a safety feature this indicates that there is an error and a uh, uh, red light will be uh, glowing at the end of this thing so it indicates that there is an error so we have to make the connections and explain you how to do the connections Uh, so basically this is auto power off so uh, uh, it's it's been switched off now so i will switch it on once again uh, so you can see that uh, the earth resistance tester is written and the battery voltage is also displayed over here okay uh, so for a two pole uh, measurement okay you have to select the function 2p so it's already selected 2p function okay and what are the connections you have you have to do for a uh, 2p uh, for a two terminal connection okay uh, the scenario is very simple so you basically have got four uh, slots over here okay c1 p1 p2 and c2 so you have to connect this to your earth electrode okay this will be connected to your earth electrode okay p1 okay you can use any of the test plates you want and then you have to connect this terminal uh, with your one of the spike so uh, you ha and and the distance between these two you can keep uh, say around 10 meters so uh, one will be going to your earth electrode and the another one will be going to the spike and the distance between them will be uh, 10 meters so once you do that you have to simply uh, uh, press the uh, test button and the uh, reading of the earth resistance will be shown over uh, so now uh, in case if you want to do a three terminal uh, earth resistance measurement so you have to select the function here as 3p okay so once you select the 3p uh, uh, terminal uh, for for three terminal earth measurement once you do that you have to take uh, this slot this will be going to your earth electrode okay this will be going to your earth electrode and from here uh, you have to connect this p2 to one of your spike okay this will be connected to your say first spike and the distance between uh, this is say uh, 10 meters okay and your c2 uh, that is uh, uh, here you will be doing a connection for your second spike okay and the distance between these two will be again uh, 10 meters okay make sure that the distance between these two that is p1 and c2 is here somewhere close to 20 meters so this will be the connection when you want to do a three terminal measurement okay and uh, simply then you have to uh, press the uh, test button in order to see the earth resistance value so now for a four terminal measurement okay for a four terminal measurement uh, how the connection will be uh, basically uh, you have to uh, connect again this one to your earth electrode okay this will be connected to your earth electrode and you have to short these two that is c1 uh, you can directly uh, connect c1 to your earth electrode and also you have to connect p1 to the earth electrode okay and this will be connected to one of your uh, spikes say first spike okay and this will be connected to your second spike in this very manner again the distance will be between these two will be uh, around 10 meters and between these two the distance will be around 10 meters so in this way you can do the four terminal connection so uh, uh, once you do that you have to press the test button and you can uh, uh, get to know what is the earth resistance value okay now we will check how to measure the earth resistivity so for measuring the earth resistivity you have to use all the four spikes okay this is where all the four spikes come into picture so you can see your first spike is over here your second spike will be here third one will be here and fourth one will be here and make sure that the distance between these spike is constant say around five meters so the distance between these spikes will be constant around five meters and you are uh, um, you know uh, uh, pressing the spikes into the ground for a depth of around say 25 centimeter so these uh, uh, figures are important okay these figures are basically important once you do that okay thereafter you press the uh, test button and you will get to know what is the earth resistivity uh, and one more thing there are different factors that are affecting this earth resistivity and earth resistance such as uh, uh, you can say temperature and uh, uh, moisture the contamination of the soil etc 
so i'll just we have got a uh, earth resistance tester over here i'll show you what is the uh, earth resistance tester all about so this is the earth resistance tester we use in order to uh, check the uh, uh, earth resistance or resistivity uh, so this is our uh, standard earth uh, resistance tester calibrator so we basically calibrate all our earth resistance tester on this device uh, so uh, let us now check uh, in our lab how uh, we will be getting the measurement so when we are doing a, a, a two terminal measurement we have already selected the function 2p over here and uh, as we know we have to do the connection such as p1 and uh, uh, p2 so these are the connections we will uh, take into consideration for 2p measurement uh, once we do that connection uh, let us say this is the uh, earth uh, electrode okay uh, which is offering us some kind of uh, resistance so in case if the earth electrode is offering a zero resistance and uh, if we uh, push the test button now uh, obviously we have to get a reading uh, which is close to uh, zero so as you can see uh, we have got a reading that is 0 0.10 ohm it is very uh, close to zero ohm so if your earth electrode is offering a resistance of zero ohm you will be getting this value okay uh, uh, one more thing uh, now uh, we will show you another uh, uh, value okay we uh, in case let us say if your earth electrode is offering you a resistance of 10 ohm okay and uh, if we press the test button now so after a while you can see that the uh, value which will be offered by us will be 10.04 ohm so this is how you do uh, for a two terminal measurement let us now do for three terminal measurement okay so for three terminal measurement uh, uh, we have to uh, 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 press this escape button so that we go into the function mode and then we will be selecting the three terminal from the function mode and uh, we have got one more uh, connection to do for three terminal that is uh, p1 p2 and c2 so all these connections are already explained so let us say now i am connecting this earth electrode in the 100 ohm range so in case if my earth electrode or my earthing pit uh, is offering me a resistance of 100 ohm okay then i have to get a value close to 100 ohm so this is how i'll press the uh, test button and after waiting for a while I'll be getting a value which will be close to 100 ohm. So as you can see, we have got a value that is 99.2 ohm. So this is how you can uh, check for uh, different earth resistance measurement and different earth resistivity. And uh, we can make a good use of this device. Thank you.